The number of karate devotees worldwide currently stands at around 40 million in 140 nations. Karate has become a familiar international word, and its exact home is Okinawa, the land of karate. Okinawa is the sanctuary of karate. The age of the Ryukyu Kingdom began in Okinawa in the 15th century, and maritime commerce flourished. Okinawa was deeply influenced both culturally and socially by China, with which it had a close relationship through the payment of tribute money. One cultural factor was Chinese Kempo. Kempo was introduced by Chinese martial artists who came over to Okinawa. Their influence affected tea, the indigenous martial art of Okinawa. Thus the Ryukyu Kempo, called 2D, meaning Chinese hand, came into existence. It would later develop into Okinawan Karate. 2D developed into various styles such as Shurite, Nahate and Tomarite. Those traditional styles have been handed down to the present and many experts have been nurtured one after another. However, for a period of around 250 years, 2D was only handed down secretly within the warrior class. It was regarded as a martial art of hereditary succession that was limited to one child per generation. It was never allowed to be introduced outside the family. In the Meiji era, when the domain system was abolished and the Ryukyu Kingdom became a prefecture of Japan, 2D began spreading to the general public in Okinawa at last in the form of karate. Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is karate for everyone. And joining us still is uh, uh, Chino Vigilias. He's the senior instructor of AAK. And uh, with us again is Dr. Pamela Bondok, who is a parent and the head of uh, Dance Theater Arts. <laughs> and her son, Adam, who won so many medals <laughs> recently in Kota Kinabalu in uh, in uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. So, guys, welcome to Philippines Uncut. Um, quick introductions, uh, Pam. Um, my name is Pamela Bondok, and I'm a proud mother <laughs> of a proud <laughs> parent of <clears throat> AAK. Yes, and and uh, and Adam. Uh, I'm, um, Ad I'm Adam Bondok. I'm 15 years old, and um, I am proud to be a Filipino karateka. Bravo, bravo. So, what happened uh, in, in, in Malaysia, Chino? I mean, did you accompany the team there? No, actually, just, uh, it was just Adam with, uh, with, with our friend from uh, Indonesia, yeah. uh, who he accompanied him. So, Adam can tell you the story of what sure, happened Sure, sure, Adam. In Come on, tell us what happened in Indonesia. Uh, actually, Indonesia was like the, like, I really, really loved staying there in Indonesia. I had met so much new friends. And not only that, I got to compete with Indonesian competitors who were like so hard to beat, but then I respect them if ever they if ever they beat me or if ever they didn't because well it looks like you beat them. <laughs> 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 I read now nah, I, I really really enjoyed it there because everybody there was so kind, but then they were but then on the mat they're just like tough and all and I was like one of the shortest so I had to find wow. my way. You you were one of the shortest, but he's yeah. pretty tall, huh? And you're yeah. one of the shortest already. Yeah. Wow. And he didn't, there was a part there where he didn't compete for his right age. He competed um, younger. He was the youngest in that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. You tell him about that. Please. Uh, there, was, um, there was this one time where my sen my, uh, my, there's a sensei who told me that I, w I wasn't allowed to join the cadet group because in the cadet, cadet group, it's 14 to 15. And I'm 15, so of course I'm supposed to be a cadet. Yeah. But it was all full, so they told me that I'm supposed to join the juniors, 16 to 17. Wow! So, in my in my heart, I I got so scared, but then I was really really excited because I didn't even actually know it was coming to me. But then I had pride in my heart, and I love karate, so of course I would I, I would be courageous. And, and and how did you perform in the uh, 16 to 7 year 17 16 year old to 17. Uh, category? He won the gold. I won the gold. You won the gold there? <laughs> yes, I won the gold. And so the, these old guys said you kicked their butts. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Wow. They all quit, Bravo. They all quit Bravo. already. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and so this illusion that a 15 year old uh, Beat them! Oh, wow, bravo! Actually, one of the actually I had Amazing. like I had like three competitors. Uh, I fought three competitors. Um, I got high scores. The first score was six zero, <laughs> and then second score, eight uh, ten two, ten two, and then the third 
score was 9-0. Final wow. score was 9-0. So this is that this is the biggest this is the medal you have in, in that's the the gold medal you won in the 16 to 17 year yes. old category. How about these other medals? Tell us about the, um, you, you have how many medals around your neck, one, two, Adam? Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. I got okay. seven. Um, these four I won it in the uh, the Kotakinabalu Kota Open International Tournament. These bronze medals I got I got them from fighting in the higher higher ranks, the higher places like the seniors, I fought the seniors, okay. Kumite. Kumite is like a fighting... Seniors is like 18 and above. Yeah, and then... He also fought there. <laughs> what is then, this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then these two gold medals, um, I won it in my original age, age the cadet Kumite, the fighting. You know, Chino, just yeah. going by Adam's example, you can see that we Filipinos have a future in this sport. I mean, look at this boy right here. I mean, he won seven medals, beat people in uh, older categories, right? You know, buddy, we've always yeah. been good in karate. I mean, not, re not just good, but uh, it's just that we just have to do the right program. Mm. It's just the right program. Just follow the right program and just concentrate on the task at hand. Mm. Then, we'll have time problem. I will really win everything. Mm. Adam, when did you start uh, karate? What age? I started karate when I was somewhere around five or six. Actually, it was really in my heart that actually it was really in my heart that I wanted to do karate because, like, when I was young, I'd always like to kick and punch my mom and dad. <laughs> weird, whoa, 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 whoa. weird, weird, <laughs> weird. But when weird, you were a baby, you mean? That's a lot yeah, of aggression. Yeah, yeah. A lot of aggression there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but then they told me, oh, "Gosh, Adam, you have to go, you have to join karate. You have to join a martial art because outlet, you're so strong. About, yeah, for the energy, no, for yeah. the energy. And then um, during those during those past years, I had friends, and then I had new techniques that I would discover and then it was just amazing to be part bravo, of bravo. Philippine karate. Now, Pam, as a parent, was karate your first option to get him into this or did you, I mean, soccer maybe or basketball? Ballet, uh, ballet. No, ballet. No, 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 no. Or, you know. uh, because I'm a ballet dancer, <laughs> yeah. so I would want something stronger for my son, but he's very, very musical. Mm. But I yes. said, um, because he doesn't have the flexibility, he doesn't have the nice feet, he doesn't have the slim body, it's going to be hard on me if he goes to ballet. <laughs> so I was thinking of any martial arts, okay? Only for the thought that I don't want my son to get bullied when he goes to school. So while I was walking in Mega Mall, mm. while I was walking in Mega Mall, I saw karate. But I was thinking, hey, for lay people, we're thinking always of taekwondo, diba? Ganon. But when I peeked inside the studio, I saw a very good teacher and I saw several medals, several. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, maybe this is a good school. So when I enrolled in, in their school, I was very, very satisfied. As a teacher myself, I, I look for strictness, yeah. but there's love. And I saw that in their school. And, and you know, um, first segment with Chino and his brother uh, in, in the show we did earlier, I can, I can sense it, eh? I mean, in, in your group, it's not just all about, you know, the, the physical part. It's yeah. about, you know, control and respect yeah. and all that. Very important, no? It's not all about, actually, it's not all about the winning. It's not about winning the medals. It's really what our, our uh, head instructor, like, uh, like my dad said, it's more of winning in life. You, whatever nice. you do, whatever, whatever you train for, whatever you train for in karate, you should also use in life. Because second day, it's useless. You can only be competitive for how, how old, no, mga 40s or 30s, mm, mm. After that, wala na. So, paano na? What, what happens to your karate? What happens to your, your sport? It's, it's nothing na eh. So, but if it's something that you can use for your life, it's something that's worth doing forever. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, I just take this time out to, tell, to, to inform you guys that our good friend here, Chino, is not just a karateka. <laughs> He's also a very accomplished uh, stage and theater uh, performer. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Chino, please, please, tell We're us so a bit proud. about that side of yours. No, because actually, it's, it's nice to contrast your, karate, your, your being see, a karateka I'll just connect it. I'll just connect nice, it. You know? I started theater when I was in high school. When I was in high school uh, in La Salzobel, uh, uh, Bibot, uh, Zenay Damador and Baby Barredo went there to, to, to direct a play, South Pacific. And I just joined <laughs> because we were excused. <laughs> oh uh, from class, one quarter of class, you're not, you're not attending class, you're just rehearsing. Wow, good, let's do this. Let's do this. So all of us, all of us Siraulos in school joined. Okay? And then, but I was doing karate already. 
And then when I was there, I was, I, I saw something similar to what my dad was teaching, what the karate was teaching, like the discipline, and like what I was telling Tita Doc Pam kanina, the Eastern thought of of motivation. Mm. Na I think kids should experience that. Na, na you're not re, you you don't wait for the congratulations. You're expected to do your best, mm. and if you win. That's your congratulations already. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for, oh, good job. You're really good, huh? Yeah. No. But but if you if you're if you're yun yun natutunan ko sa ke tita bibot and yeah. from karate also. So parang when I did theater, parang parang di na lalayo. So parang it's really it's still okay. discipline and and yung yung pagiging humble and everything that I was talking to yeah. you about. Uh, tapos parang and then and then so and then when I did that I did the repertory for a while and then I became a I became a national team member so I couldn't do it wow, because puyatan eh <laughs> puyatan <laughs> rehearsal from repertory theater, to national so team. I became a national team member Killing. and then when I retired from national team Michael Williams invited me to join something a group and then I went back to theater and then hanap ko yung feel nung when you're competing because I can't compete I'm old ne I'm like I'm like 45 years old now so I can't compete na, but I found that sense of yung, yung thrill, yung, yung, yung ano na nako compete ka when you perform. Galeng, and then galeng. the training and the rehearsal is like training. Do you guys instill this in your students? Like that this, this, this art, this, this, it's an yes. art form, you know? Yun yung mas importante. Oh. Yun yung mas importante. Galeng. Because yung, yung physical, sandali lang yan, body eh. Sandali lang talaga yan eh. Mm. But of course, they need it. They need it. You need mm. it. You, you need to defend yourself. If you need to, they need to learn something, they need to be physically fit. But it's more of the spiritual and more of the ugale. Yeah, Adam, how do you feel about that? That 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 connection that karate is also an art. Do you do you feel it inside that hey, this is an art form like ballet with your mom and you know theater with with uh, instructor Chino? I always thought that um, karate was always a martial art because it, like what it says, it's a martial art. It's something beautiful. It's mm. not something that you can you you can use just for fighting, but it's. Some it's something beautiful. That's what I'm just saying. You know? And then when you do your 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 forms, yeah. um, it, it it really is, a, it is an art. Right? Yeah, it is so, really an art. And you feel it. You have to feel it. No, it comes out regularly if you feel it inside. You know. Nice, nice, bravo, bravo. Now, um, let's talk about ages to start. W when is the right age to get your your daughter or your son involved in in, in the, the sport? The youngest we have is like three, but that's a special class. That's a special class for toddlers. But basically, ma mga siguro mga five is okay. My kids, I, I didn't make them peel it to join. I, I waited for them to, to ask me to join. Did they? Yes. They, now they're joining. So, pero I think five or six is a good age. Okay. It's a good age kasi maraming energy yan eh. And lalo na ngayon sa school, sa school it's more on aral sila ng aral, di ba? So, kailangan nila ng release ng energy nila. Sure, sure. And, and you know, it's, it's good kasi you get your children involved in a constructive sport. Yes. It gets them away from, keeps them away from, you know, nonsense, no? Yeah. Or and yung focus nila develop, especially sa karate, kasi like what you said kanina, it's maraming kata eh, yung forms. Mm. And the way we train is really talagang tinetemper eh. It's like, it's, it's like what I said kanina na ang sa Japan, lahat art eh, di ba? Even the one, the way they make their swords. Actually, that's how the training is. Eh? It's how they make their samurai swords. Pinapalo, pinapalo, pinapalo. You fold it, you fold it, you fold it. Then you yeah, pinapalo, pinapalo. Tinatemper, di ba, yung steel? Perfection. And then you get a perfect sword. Yep. So, ganun din ang training ng karate ka. So, ganun ang training. Kaya sila pa, kala nila, ulit ng ulit, ulit ng ulit. Like, folding and folding, folding. Same thing. But they didn't, they, they realize sa dulo, na it's what makes them sharp and a perfect sword. I guess that's what differentiates karate from other martial arts yeah. that don't espouse forms. No? Yeah. Inyo kasi is really an art form. Eh? Yeah. So, you know, as you said, you can do it as an exhibition yeah. and it's beautiful. You know, and people like to watch it. It's, it's, it's a, wonderful thing, a wonderful thing to see, like ballet. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side of the spectrum. Let's say people who are <clears throat> a bit older, like yeah. let's say my age, who, have, who haven't been into karate. I mean, is it, is it too late? Is there no, ever an age or too late to start? That kind it's of thing? never too late. <laughs> it's never too late to do anything. <laughs> good, <laughs> good philosophy. Good philosophy. It's never too late to do anything. But, alam maganda lang sa karate kasi may adjustment siya. mag adjust yung, 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 yung art sa eh. So, for example, like, you'll see, baka hindi ko na kaya yung stance na yan, yung low stance. But, you can, you can adjust eh. It's not about the, it's not really about the, the stances. Or, it's about you. What's, what's best for you. So, mag-adjust siya sa'yo. 
how old are your oldest uh, students? Ha, Let's say, dati, starting, ha, starting, oldest new students. student ako dati na 58, nagsa-start pa lang. Parang feeling niya kasi nag-aral siya, ng, nag-doktor siya and everything, tapos ngayon lang siya nagka-oras, tapos nag-aral siya. Dahil gusto lang niyang ma-fulfill yung dream niya na mag-aral ng karate. Pero how far into the sport did he reach? I mean, did he stay for Well, syempre, may, may times or? na pag nagkaroon na siya ng mga mga things na like mga ailments na hindi na ano, yun yung problema. Hmm. But pagka fit ka naman, pwede pa naman tuloy-tuloy. Basta sabihin ng doctor mo na okay ka, okay ka. Yeah, yeah. Yun lang naman. It's just like any physical activity. If you have may sakit ka sa puso, then you have to get checked first. Okay, let's talk about um, uh, let's say parents watching now and yeah. uh, we mentioned ages, three for your special class yeah. and five or six ideal. Yeah. What about the concerns of parents that maybe you know, some parents are probably thinking, I put my boy into karate, maybe he might end up beating up all, all the other kids in, in, in nursery or kindergarten. <laughs> Alam mo, <laughs> buddy. Baka maging violent eh. So, sa experience ko na lang, ako na lang, <laughs> ako na lang, siguro nung nagkarate ako, lalo akong umiwas sa away. Yeah. Kasi what I tell my, my kulang sa pero pala away ako nung, okay. <laughs> Aminado ka. Pala away ako. <laughs> pero, pero ano yun eh? Uh, Buti na nagkarate ka. Kasi wala pa tayong video games on, buddy. Oh. Wala pa kami oh, video yeah. games on. So you have to understand, Adam, we didn't have Xbox. So our games were fighting. Yeah. So anyway, but mababawasan eh. Kasi parang feeling mo, nasa gym ka, nakikipag-sparring ka na dun. Away na naman. Ano ba to? Tama na yan. Uh, so di, parang mas natitemper ka nga. Okay, I want to talk to Adam about this. Let's say in school, um, how does karate help you relate to I mean, school, we, we, we all went to school and, you know, there's always going to be some bullies, yeah. some people who are pushy. How yeah. do you deal with situations like that? Um, me, all I just do is just walk away if I can. Do they know that you won, that you won all these medals? Uh, <laughs> now they do. <laughs> now they do. <laughs> now they do. <laughs> but actually, before, when I, was, when, I, yeah, when I was a little kid, I didn't used to have all these medals. I, I used to have, like, bronze, silver, because I'd get them automatically. But then, like, <laughs> that time, I... I had to do the responsible thing, which is like if ever somebody would pick a fight on me, I would just walk away. But then if they push me into a corner where I cannot move away, I just really have to fight because I have to defend myself. Sure, That's how sure. karate is. It's not sure. attacking, it's defensive. Nice, it's not nice. it's not it's not something to bu it's not it's not an art to bully people, but it's an art to Keep yourself alive. Protect yourself and yeah. the ones you Keep love. No? Yeah. That's what it's That's all about. It. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get this this indoctrination into your I mean, do you sit them down? Do you have these uh, you know, like these classes where you talk to them and have, you know, You know like what? I think we do. But it's mm. just it just comes out naturally that mm. we don't plan it. Mm. And every time they train, it's cause when you train when they're doing like like five or like one hundred punches or whatever, you try to tell them why are you doing this? You're tempering your, your character, you're fixing your character so that they realize they're not just doing this because pinagtitripan mo sila. Mm. Na hindi mo ginagawa, hindi nila ginagawa to dahil galit ka sa kanila. You're doing this because you want, they, you want, they know the why. Yeah, it's important to tell them the why while you're teaching them. Why, why are you doing this? Because you have to, you have to temper yourself, you have to do this to, to become natural for you. Parang ganon. I think, I don't know if we really teach them directly, but I think it's, inculca it's inculcated or it's, it's there mm. in the system that we tell them indirectly that this is what's supposed to do. Hindi ka dapat nakikipag-away. Hindi talaga eh. Di ba? Very nice. Very Kung gusto nice. mo makipag-away, kahit ano pwede mo, bumili ka na ng, ng ano, or something, whatever. Kasi gym na lang. Oo, oh, di ba? <laughs> di ba? Kung gusto mo makipag-away, pumunta ka doon sa kanto, makipagsuntukan ka doon. But that's not how we do it. Yes. Pam, we have a few seconds to close. Uh, what is your advice to parents now who are considering entering their, their, their children, young children into karate? Um... For, for me, the discipline that has been given to my son is superb. So, um, any martial arts, okay, maybe they're good, but I found it in karate. Okay, and I'm so happy and so pleased with the results. And when I hear my son, <laughs> yeah, and actually he's telling me, Mommy, I can't, because before I was telling him, Adam, if somebody bullies you, fight back. He said, Mommy, I myself is already ah, a weapon. Imagine. Bravo. Oh, that makes me cry. <laughs> I know how, I mean, the pride, I can just imagine these medals now, and this is like just a few of the many medals you've won over the years. So congratulations, Adam. Congratulations, Pam, for, for a job well done. Congratulations, Sensei. Congratulations, AK, and of course, to Sensei. instructor Chino Villas. Yes. Thank you so much. So, guys, um, we have to pause for another break, but when we come back, we're going to have a demonstration yeah. with some kids, and then we're going to be joined by another parent yeah. with another child to share experiences of children in karate. 
So guys, more of karate with uh, for everyone when Philippines Uncut returns. <laughs>